and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets of video markets dropped as investors absorbed the repercussions of Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's hawkish remarks about keeping financial conditions tight and interest rates high for longer. Bitcoin traded below $27,000 crucial mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.5% at 34,300 points. Interestingly, stablecoin Tether USDT has made an undisclosed investment into the German-based cryptocurrency miner Northern Data Group to support artificial intelligence initiatives. This investment may entail partnership utilizing AI, P2P communications and data storage technologies. In another interesting news, Optimism, an Ethereum Layer 2 network announced a private token sale of around 116 million OP tokens worth $157 million with seven purchasers as per its governance platform update. However, recent indications from the US Federal Reserve that it may raise interest rates further this year may have dampened market enthusiasm. Meanwhile, according to data from Greeks.live, approximately 22,000 BTC options are about to expire, featuring a put-call ratio of 1.00. Additionally, according to on-chain statistics, Bitcoin whale holdings are at their lowest levels since May 2023. Moving on, as per CoinShares report, outflows from cryptocurrency exchange traded products also known as ETPs reached $455 million over the previous nine weeks. Outflows from ETPs typically signify negative sentiment towards cryptocurrencies, analysts said. The 10-year Treasury yield surged to a 16-year high, while the DXY index, which gauges the US dollar's strength against a basket of major crypto uh, currencies, jumped briefly near 106, the highest since the peak of the US regional banking distress in March. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.06 trillion mark, decreasing 0.5% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volumes decreased by 1.3% to $27.8 billion. Since 2023, XRP has seen a significant increase in trading volume, surpassing all other alternative coins. However, this trend continues into September, with daily trading volumes averaging over $1 billion, marking XRP one of the most traded cryptocurrencies after Bitcoin and Ethereum. In other news, Chainlink has included Ethereum's Layer 2 scaling mechanism Arbitrum to promote the creation of cross-chain decentralized applications. The ecosystem aims to open up a wide range of use cases, including as cross-chain tokenization, blockchain games. U.S. stock futures climbed as the market is poised to end the week with steep losses. Futures on the Dow Jones Industrial Average were up 66 points. S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures also jumped 0.22% and 0.26% respectively. Bitcoin was trading at $26,645, down 0.4%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 1%, trading at $1,595. BNB was down by 0.3% to trade at $211. Cardano's ADA token was down by 1.4% to trade at $0.24. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $8.9, lower 0.1%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 1.8% to trade at $0.52. Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 0.7% at $0.061. Shiba Inu was trading down by 0.4%. Polkadot was down by 1.1% to trade at $4. However, Solana SOL was up 0.4% and was trading at $19.7. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.50, up by 0.4%. Now let's move on to our technical analyst, Mr. Ashish Bundele, for his views on cryptocurrency markets. Well, talking about the largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, its price has... <clears throat> Well, talking about the largest cryptocurrency Bitcoin, its price has been trading now below $26,800 levels. It is back to the same trading range it has been in recently. There is not much news that would cause the price to go up or down dramatically right now. So we may see the price move sideways. It will stay around the current level over the next few days. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashish, for sharing your views. That's all in CoinMonitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3 Toto TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website, www.3wordstv.io or scan the QR code. Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain.
stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Dotto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Dotto TV delivers the news that matters. Optimism and Ethereum Layer 2 Network announced a private token sale of around 116 million OP tokens worth $157 million with 7 purchasers as per its governance platform update. Optimism Foundation has announced plans for several transactions totaling around 116 million OP tokens with 7 purchasers subject to a 2-year lockup where they delegate the tokens to third parties for governance. The funds will come from the unallocated portion of the Foundation's token treasury, which is part of its original working budget of 30% of the initial OP token supply. CryptoSlate's data shows that news of the sales has negatively impacted the OP token. The Foundation has $1.235 billion worth of assets in its treasury. The Optimism DAO has been rewarded with 19 million OP tokens, worth around $26 million as part of a third airdrop campaign. The tokens were distributed across 31,000 addresses to users who delegated tokens to support the protocol's governance. Despite this, the total value of assets logged on the blockchain network rose by 4% to $2.62 billion during the reporting period, with Optimism controlling around 25% of the market share among Ethereum-based Layer 2 networks. In spite of the company's announcement that it will reduce such loans to zero in December 2022, Tether, the biggest stablecoin issuer in the cryptocurrency market, has seen an increase in its stablecoin lending or secured loans in 2023. Tether stated in its most recent quarterly report that as of June 30th, its assets are compromised loans of $5.5 billion up from $5.3 billion in the prior quarter. The recent increase in stablecoin lending, according to a Tether representative, was brought on by a few short-term loan requests from customers with whom the company has cultivated long-standing relationships. The corporation intends to reduce such loans to zero by 2024, the representative added. Tether has increased its secured loans, allowing customers to borrow USDT in exchange for collateral. However, these loans have faced controversy due to lack of transparency between the collateral and borrowers. Tether reported $3.3 billion in surplus reserves in September, up from $250 million in 2022. In response, Tether defended the concerns about stablecoin loans, stating that the company's $3.3 billion excess equity and potential $4 billion yearly profit make offsetting the loans and retaining profits within the balance sheet. Tether remains committed to removing the secure loans from its reserves. Since 2023, XRP has seen a significant increase in trading volume surpassing all other alternative coins. This surge is due to a July court decision that XRP is not an unregistered security, boosting its popularity among traders. The trading volume of XRP in the US is nearly $30 billion for the first nine months of the year, a remarkable comeback for XRP, which was barred from many American exchanges until mid-July. Major exchanges like Coinbase, Gemini and Kraken have relisted XRP following the ruling. XRP's growth has significantly impacted global trading with an average daily trading volume of $462.8 million in August, 3.6 times higher than Solana's $128.4 million. This trend continues into September with daily trading volumes averaging over $1 billion, making XRP one of the most traded cryptocurrency after Bitcoin and Ethereum. XRP's liquidity has also increased, with the market depth rising following the Ripple SEC case ruling in July. XRP's monthly average depth rose from $8 million to $12 million by early September. Despite this, XRP's price has decreased from its peak in mid-July, dropping to $0.515, although it appears poised to continue its rally.